Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is 19th lecture of this number theory series. And in this lecture, we'll see how we can calculate a uh, illustration function of all the integers from 1 to n in n log log n time. If you haven't seen the previous lectures on illustration function, then I highly recommend you to watch those lectures first because we will be using the knowledge from the uh, and the concept learned in those lectures. So if you haven't seen them, just go and make sure you have watched them first before continuing this lecture. So we have to find a way uh, such that we can find uh, ETF that is phi of each number from 1 to n where n can be as large as 10 plus 6 uh, in efficient way. So to calculate it what we are going to do first if we use the way that we have seen in the previous lecture that phi of n can be calculated in square root of n time so the overall complexity would become if we use that algorithm uh, is n into square root of n uh, while what we can do we can highly optimize this overall uh, runtime by using c so what we are going to do we are going to use a similar approach that we use to find prime numbers in the range from 1 to n that is using sieve so what we would do we would take a phi array and initialize each of the elements uh, equal to its index so index 1 would be initialized with 1 2 would be initialized with 2 3 4 and till n we would then initialize each index the value at index i would be equal to i this is basically initializing result with itself you remember how we calculate result uh, of phi of n what we do we initialize result with n and then for each prime divisor of n we divide result by p and multiply it with p minus 1 where p is a prime divisor in prime factorization of n right so what we would do we would start from uh, i is equals to 2 as we do in uh, c algorithm and the first number which is equal uh, the number which is equals to the number which is equal to its index so number stored at index 2 is equals to 2 so since the number stored at index 2 is equals to 2 that means it is a prime of course 2 is a prime so what we would do we would go to all of the multiple of 2 we divide the result that is what you have stored at the indices we would divide it so i would go from 2 to i would go to 4 6 8 because all of these are multiple of 2 so at each place i'll go and then divide the result by 2 and multiply it with 1 that is divide the result by prime prime uh, number is 2 in this case and then multiply the result with prime minus 1 which is 2 minus 1 that is 1 so uh, we went to 2 initially at 2 we were having 2 at index 2 we were sto uh, storing the result 2 so what we would do we would divide 2 by 2 and multiply it with 1 so the result would be 1 of course we would go to 4 like we do in sieve once you find a prime number at index i starting from uh, i plus starting from 2i we go till n and then for each multiple of i we mark it as uh, 0 if you have initialized whole array with 1 that indicates okay this number is prime or not similarly here we have initialized every index with a e uh, uh, value at each index equal to i now the uh, the value at index i starting from uh, we would run a loop from 2 to n and if at index i the value stored is equals to i which means this is a prime number like we found at 2 now for each multiple of it so we went to 2 divided the result by 2 multiply it with 1 we would go to 4 currently 4 is storing 4 so we would divide it by 2 and multiply it with uh, 1 so it would become 2 we would go to 6 of course divide it by 2 multiply it by 1 we would go to 8 divide by 2 multiply by 1 and so on for all uh, for the rest of the numbers 10 12 14 and 18 for every multiple of 2 we have divided the result by 2 multiplied with 1 
divided by 2 because 2 is the current prime number for which we are running the second loop like we do in the sieve. Now the work of 2 is completed, we would continue. We would see that value at index 3 is equals to index 3, right? That is why this must also be a prime number. So 3 is the prime number we would do again. Uh, starting from index 3, for each multiple of 3, like 3, 6, 9, 12 and so on, we would divide uh, results stored at that index by 3 and multiply it with 2. So it would become 2. This also would become 2. This would become 6. This would become 4. And this would become 10 and so on. So this is how the thing would go. So first let create an initialization function init pass for now we are passing tens pass 6 so init init is the function which would initialize the phi array and let's use a phi array of size tens pass 6 so what we do we would we run a loop from 1 to max n initializing phi of i is equals to i this is the first step after that we run sieve and how we do that of course we would start from 2 we go till max n max n currently is equals to 10 power 6 i plus plus if phi of i is equals to i clearly this is a prime number so for all each multiple of i including i itself j is less than equals to max n and j plus equals i that is for each multiple of i what we would do we divide phi of j by i and phi of j would be multiplied by uh, i minus 1 that's all uh, I think this is all yeah and then we can take t test case each time n in each this uh, in each test case we would read n and simply print phi of n so see each query is being answered in constant time after n log n pre-processing time so if we run if we run so initialization is completed let's say we have these many queries phi of 5 is equals to 4 and let's test it from this website this website lists phi of first 500 values so let's test it for 10 phi of 10 is equals to 4 test it for 200 5 200 is 80 okay uh, 5 to 200 is 80 5 of 231 is 120 2 is 120 and so on you can see that okay let's go for the biggest I don't know whether it's correct or not but this should be correct but, uh, the algorithm that we are running is correct so the answer should be correct as well so this was how you calculate phi of uh, all of the number in the range 1 to n in n log log n time using sieve so this was all for this lecture if you have any doubts or query don't ask in the comment section this time ask on the article that i have created on discuss.codechef.com the link to that article also i'll be putting in the description the reason again i'm stating is that uh, I do not have much time so it is not possible for me to check out the comment again and again uh, if you would ask the question there there are others develop, uh, programmers as well who uh, how can help you so thank you guys for watching and till the next video drops keep coding thank you